Hey guys, good morning. We are on our way to go fishing. Um, we've stopped at Walmart. I forgot to set the bait out. So um, we're gonna pick up a couple of things and then we're going to head out on the boat today. So um, I'll show you what we've got going on. Hey guys, so we did end up going fishing today. Um, it was not a successful trip. Uh, some days are just like that. Uh, we did end up catching one catfish. It was a pretty good size, but it was just not big enough to um, break down, clean, and eat by itself. So um, he was let go, and um, that was it for today. But um, it still was a great time. Um, just hanging out with my husband and um, kind of reconnecting because uh, sometimes it just feels uh, like we don't have time for each other. <sighs> so, um, let's see what's going on. Um, I am thinking about leaving my job. I've only been there for a few months. Um, it's just not been like a great fit for me. Um, I'm in my late 30s, and, um, the people that I work with are, uh, like, really young, like, teenagers, and it's nothing against teenagers, um, but some of the people that I work with, uh, have a really hard time, like, um, with respect, and, um, I just was taught to have a certain level of respect for people and um, to not get that back is really, really frustrating. And, um, you know, I had an incident where um, one of my male coworkers, uh, one of my young male coworkers was just really condescending. And um, I think that was kind of the last straw for me um, because he was not that way to my uh, my male coworker, my other male coworker. So um, that was kind of just it for me, really. Um, you know, and I've kind of struggled with um, my bags. Um, you know, sometimes they're over and sometimes they're under, and um, I just. It's my first kind of, it's not like my first cash handling job. Um, I've handled cash before, but um, this is my first like um, fast paced cash handling, cash handling job. And um, I don't know, maybe it's just not for me. Uh, <laughs> maybe that's just not my thing. I don't know. Um, maybe I'm just a, a slow work pace kind of person, I don't know, um, but, um, I'm thinking I want to get my, um, insurance license, which, um, I am really interested in, um, so I've been looking at maybe getting to be a, um, receptionist just to get my foot in the door, uh, I don't know how long I will take to get my insurance license, um, just because I am really, um, I want to be really confident when I go into things. I like to feel like I know what I'm talking about, and I think part of that, you know, some of that, uh, is what I hate about what I work, where I work now, because um, I'm working so many places, I don't feel like I get 
the chance to um, learn things in the way that they should be. Um, I don't get the chance to learn things the way that they should be um, done. Um, I'm going to be a, an aunt again pretty soon, um, so that's exciting. Um, I'm kind of struggling lately. Uh, I don't know, it's my family stuff. Maybe I'll talk about that a little bit um, in another video, just my family in general. Um, but I kind of seem to be struggling again. Um, yeah. So this week what I've got going on is uh, work. And I have three interviews so far, which I'm totally excited about. Um, I think that, uh, oh, two are insurance agencies, which I'm like, yeah. And um, the other is a medical clinic, um, which I've done medical um, pretty much uh, my entire work history is medical, except for a few years that were daycare and a few years that were at an auto an auto shop. So um, medical for me is kind of uh, where I find my background. Um, so I, I just find it easy to do and comfortable. So I... Uh, I feel really good about these. Um, I'm hoping that maybe I'll have a couple more. We'll see. But um, three to start out with is great. So there's that. Um, I'm only working Tuesday and Thursday and Saturday. So, um, you know, last week I took the whole week off. And, uh, I didn't vlog at all. Well, I did a mini-verse video that I'm hoping to get put up. But, um, you know, I really struggled with, um, motivation. So, uh, hopefully I'll get this video up and that video up. Um, other than that, we just don't have a whole lot going on right now. Uh, I'm sorry if this one was boring. Um, so yeah, fishing trip was kind of a bust, but I still had a great time with my husband. I always have a great time going out. I really, really love fishing. It's so much fun for me. It's so peaceful, so relaxing. Um, I brought my book with me, and I didn't even uh, use it just because uh, I just had a great time. The uh, lake was kind of choppy, but um, we ended up going back um, around to like a little cove, and... Um, it was really nice and peaceful back there for a while. And um, then it started to get really windy back there too. And uh, we had to kind of, um, well, we had to go back to the uh, dock because it was just getting too windy. It was almost like 20 miles an hour. So it was just time to go back home. Um... Oh, books. I finished Intercepts freaking finally. Um, I gave it three stars. I wish I could have given it three and a half on Goodreads. Uh, just because, you know, I don't think that it deserved three stars. I think it deserved three and a half. I don't think it deserved four. Um, I liked it okay. I thought that um, the storyline was good. I was, I was, um, surprised by the ending. I thought that that was, um, actually good, the way that it ended. So, um, yeah, I did end up liking it. Not, uh, it took a really long time for me to read, so I don't feel like it was, um, good enough like I said, for me to give it a four, um, or five, but, um, it was good enough for uh, a three and a half, definitely. 
so um, right now I'm currently reading um, I don't bring, oh I did bring my book in here because I wanted to see who it was by I'm currently reading let's see sorry I want to know who this is by So this one is Stolen Tongues by Felix Blackwell. Um, I've also read, I want to say that I've read another one by this author also. Because it seems really familiar to one that I've read before. But um, I'm really enjoying this one. I am in part two. I've got about... Um, five hours, five and a half hours left of this one. Um, I don't know if I'm going to finish it. Um, what the heck is that? It's a string! I don't know if I'm going to finish it this week. Uh, it just depends on how much time I have and how motivated I am. But uh, so far I'm really enjoying it. It's pretty good. And it, as always, if you guys have uh, reading recommendations, uh, leave them in the comments below. I just wanted to wrap this video up by um, sharing a couple of books that um, I'm also going to be reading while I am uh, finishing up Stolen Tongues. Um, I'm going to be reading the um, adult children of um, emotionally immature parents and that is by Lindsay Gibson. And um, I'm also going to be reading um, Healing Your Lost Inner Child, and that's by Robert Jackman. Um, I'm just trying to do some uh, just healing work um, from, like, my childhood. <clears throat> I do therapy every week, um, but we don't touch on a whole lot of stuff um, about my childhood right now. Uh, just because I've worked on it so much. Um, in other therapies that uh, I just haven't really brought it up yet but um, it's something that I want to touch on later um, so I just wanted to end this vlog and um, I will see you guys in the next one bye